me, and this is an open communication about it, the importance of having navigation above the fold when they hit the landing page. And I think it personally ha adds credibility. It shows that you're not kind of just getting them to do one thing and, you know, that's all you need from them. You're kind of showing them you, you're an expert in that field. So that's one other uh, update that they made that really, I think, helped them as well. So that, that, that improves the quality score, Jared? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Interesting. I've, I've seen it uh, several times where just adding, you know, the, the links that they tell you to have, uh, site map links, uh, privacy policies, contact us, having those links uh, in multiple spots, especially above the fold, uh, really allows you, um, you know, it, it basically tells the spiders that, you know, you're, you're open to the navigation and they can, it helps the human aspect as well. And That's really interesting. I, have, yeah. I, I, I would say that needs to be carefully tested. I, I think that... Um, I, I haven't tested navigation above the fold. I've been too frightened on my own campaigns to do that. But I, I think I think a lot of people are frightened by it. But I, I I've seen it out there. And if you have great content, I think you can you know with proper navigation above the fold utilize it to your advantage. So. I, I I'll bet you're right. I bet that when the things are evolving, I'll bet you're right. Yeah, the thing that would support that would be uh, Google saying that. Uh, Transparency and uh, nav navigation ability matters a lot in the landing page, and um, I, I think that having uh, you know that sort of freedom of movement and having the navigation actually be above the fold uh, that that goes along the lines of those two things, and I think that they would conceivably yes factor that into quality score, but. Whenever I have, usually the fight for me is navigation versus no navigation, and I would rather see a client have footer navigation than have no navigation. I, I've, I've seen no problem whatsoever with foot, footer navigation. Yeah. Um, and it makes sense to me that the way that the web is evolving, that people would find more credibility in a freely navigated site with a menu bar on top. I think there might be situations um, where that could lower your conversion. So what, what I would advise people to do, whoops, sorry about that. What I would advise people to do is uh, to test it. Um, yeah. I, I'm certainly going to test uh, it. Uh, Lorraine, do you know this particular client? I know is someone that you've worked with a lot. Um, their landing page now, do they have navigation on top or on the bottom? Uh, for where they're sending traffic now. Do you know off the top of your head? Not off the top of my head. I can check really quick. That would be good. Okay. Yeah, he's really seen a great improvement with his conversion rate and cost for conversion. It's been unbelievable each week. It's got, it just keeps getting better. Yeah, it, it really is it getting better as his follow-up sequence goes into place? Um... I'm not sure. Oh, uh, let's see here. So I'm on his site. He has navigation tabs at the top. Okay. Um, nothing at the bottom, though. Okay. So here he did have header navigation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, I, I, I am going to run it and test this. Yeah. And it sounds like you guys have already tested it, so um, I think that's very interesting. Is there anything else we want to say about... Um, using a heavy content blog type site for, for quality score? Well, I would just say that I know for sure that this is uh, a steady, slow transformation pushing out a certain type of site that Google doesn't like. And it seems like it's getting more and more of a strong push at all times. Uh, so uh, people who are afraid of moving in this direction, I would say, uh, you know, think carefully because if you, uh, if you don't get with the program, Google really has all the, the uh, holds all the cards, so <laughs> they have the power in this one. I, I, I can tell you that I just took one of my old niche sites and I upgraded to this type of a format and I wound up with a 10 out of 10 quality score on the most generic keywords. Um, which was just amazing. So I'm, I'm, I am 94% a convert to this. 
I'm going to fire off the rocket then. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. That's yeah. my favorite quote. If you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. Great. Okay, I'm going to save this and go on to the next one, okay?